Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we're going to see the significance of target endpoint and proxy endpoint while writing the fault rules in RPG Edge to do API fault handling. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, you need basic concepts of RPG API proxy, also you need basic concepts of fault rules for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, RPG API proxy is divided into proxy endpoint and target endpoint where you can write target uh, specific functionality in the target endpoint and proxy specific functionality in the proxy endpoint. Let's say whenever a fault occurs in the proxy endpoint, for example, you are doing API key validation and the key turns out to be an invalid key or you are doing a quota and quota gets exhausted. So whenever a fault happens in the proxy endpoint, you're going to do fault handling in the proxy endpoint. So in that case, you're going to write the fault rules in the proxy endpoint. Similarly, whenever fault occurs in the target endpoint, let's say you are converting the payload from one format to another format specific to a target in the target endpoint, then if for some reason that particular policy fails due to unresolved variables, then the error is getting raised in the target endpoint. In that case, you have to handle that fault in the target endpoint. So you're going to write the fault rules in the target endpoint. Similarly, whenever a target uh, returns some exception saying that 400 or 404 not phone, if any error that is happening at the target, then the same fault handling has to be done at the target endpoint. So if any fault occurs at the target, then you're going to write the fault rules in the target endpoint. We're going to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate the significance of positioning the fault rules in Apache API proxy. Click on API proxies. Click on plus proxy button, choose reverse proxy, click on next. I'm going to give the name as uh, fault rules uh, demo 2 and give the proxy base path as slash v1 fr mock 2. Give the existing API as uh, http bin.org and click on next. Choose pass through, choose defaults and build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, let's access the proxy overview screen. So let's access this particular API. As you can see, this is a simple uh, API which points to httpbin.org. Let's say uh, we are going to make an API call to slash status endpoint, which will just return the HTTP status code. Let's say uh, if we get 400 uh, bad requests from the target server, then ideally you are supposed to handle this particular fault in the target endpoint. So let's see how to do that. Click on develop. So as you can see, both the proxy endpoints default has fault rules as well as target endpoints default has fault rules. So it is very important where do you position these fault rules and you do that based on where the error is happening. Since the error is happening at the target side, so we're going to write a fault rule in the target endpoint. So I'm going to write a simple fault rule to handle the 400 bad request and return some custom messages. So we're going to execute this fault rule whenever we get 400 uh, uh, response uh, status code and uh, we are going to execute uh, the policies whenever this happens. So we're going to define a simple policy, SMSS policy which will uh, change uh, the response message. So let's add a policy, click on uh, plus next to the policies and uh, choose uh, SMSS policy. I'm going to name it as AM bad uh, response error. And uh, once you have added the SMSS policy, remove everything uh, except uh, set. So we're going to set the payload uh, using SMSS policy. Change the type to response and uh, set the payload. So let's set a simple error response, bad request with an error code EH400. And let's attach this uh, policy in our fault rule. So I'm going to update the policy. Click on save API proxy. Let's see it in action. Click on trace, start a session. Let's make the same API call to the uh, proxy endpoint. As you can see, now we no longer see uh, default browser message VC and JSON with a response and error code because the fault rule got executed in the target endpoint. What happens if you remove the same fault rule to the proxy endpoint? It won't execute because the reason is since the fault is happening at the target side, ideally the fault should be in the target endpoint. So let's test that out. So I'm gonna move the fault rules to the proxy endpoint and click on save. Navigate to trace session and restart the trace session and make the same API call. As you can see, the SMSS policy did not get executed because the reason is ideally we are supposed to do that fault handling in the target endpoint instead of proxy endpoint. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share these videos with your friends and colleagues.